my dear students assalamu alaikum and welcome to your online class in this lecture we are going to discuss about one of the important types of hormones in our body that is the steroid hormone and the mechanism of action of steroid hormone so first let us know some important facts about steroid hormones the most important fact is that steroid hormones are synthesized from cholesterol and much of this cholesterol comes from the ldl that is the low density lipoproteins circulating in the plasma and so as they are synthesized from cholesterol the steroid hormones are highly lipid soluble and they consist of three cyclohexyl ring and one cyclopentyl ring combined into a single structure because the steroids are highly lipid soluble once they are synthesized inside the cell they diffuse across the cell membrane and enter the blood in the blood the steroid hormones are carried by the plasma proteins such as the cortisol binding globulin which is also known as transcortin and albumins and another important fact about steroid hormone is that the steroid hormones are not stored in our body unlike the protein hormones which are stored in the secretory vesicles but steroid hormones are not stored now let's look at the examples of steroid hormones cortisol and aldosterone these are secreted from the adrenal cortex estrogen and progesterone from the ovaries and also from the placenta during pregnancy and testosterone that from the testes so we can see that steroid hormones are the hormones that are secreted from the adrenal cortex and the gonads now let's look at this diagram which shows the mechanism of action of steroid hormone steroid hormones are lipophilic hormones so they easily diffuse across the cell membrane and they have their receptor in the cytoplasm so uh, these receptors are intracellular receptors so when the steroid hormone diffuses across the cell membrane it goes and binds with the cytoplasmic receptor and forms the hormone receptor complex and then this activated hormone receptor complex enters into the nucleus in the nucleus it binds with specific portion of the dna strand and this is called the hormone response element and then this in induces the transcription process and forms the messenger rna the messenger rna then diffuses into the cytoplasm and then it incre uh, increases the translation process at the ribosomes and thus there is formation of the new proteins so this is how the steroid hormones exert their action in their target cell so once the steroid hormones are synthesized they enter the blood and carried by the plasma proteins and then when they reach their target cell they diffuse across the cell membrane of the target cell and show their action in this way here we are also seeing the nuclear receptor this one you don't have to draw when you are uh, writing the answer for steroid hormones you can omit this and just uh, start with the cytoplasmic receptor now the mechanism of action of steroid hormones this is very very important for your written so steroid hormones act mainly on the genetic machinery of the cell we know that the protein hormones act by the second messenger system but the steroid hormones are acting by the genetic machinery and increase the protein synthesis in the target cell and it takes minutes hours or even days these proteins then function as enzymes transport proteins or structural proteins the newly formed proteins appear in the cell and become the controller of the new cellular function so uh, it follows the following steps first one is the highly lipid soluble steroid hormone diffuses across the cell membrane and enters the cytoplasm in the cytoplasm it binds with the specific receptor
the activated hormone receptor complex is then transported to the nucleus in the nucleus it binds at specific regulatory sequence on the dna strand and this is called the hormone response element this activates the transcription process of specific genes and forms messenger rna this point the number 3 point as you can see is very important so you have to know what is hormone response element it is the specific regulatory sequence on the dna strands where the uh, steroid hormones go and bind and this activates the transcription process of specific genes and then forms the messenger rna the fourth step is the messenger rna diffuses into the cytoplasm and promotes the translation process at the ribosomes and then it forms new proteins and these new proteins are responsible for the Uh, required or the desired cellular function next uh, let us give a example of steroid hormone uh, functioning such example is aldosterone aldosterone is a steroid hormone secreted by the adrenal cortex and its function is sodium reabsorption from the renal tubules so aldosterone hormone increases sodium reabsorption from the renal tubules so once the aldosterone hormone is synthesized in the adrenal cortex its target cell is the renal tubular cell so when it reaches the renal tubular cells uh, it contains the specific receptor protein for the aldosterone and this receptor protein is called mineralocorticoid receptor so the aldosterone then binds with this mr receptor and uh, the uh, cited the uh, steps that we have said previously those steps takes place and ultimately the new proteins are formed and these new proteins are responsible for sodium reabsorption and it takes about 45 minutes for all these steps to be performed and the reabsorption of sodium to start so the mechanism of action or to exert the action aldosterone takes 45 minutes ha yeah, so or it it can also take several hours or even days but in case of protein hormones there is an instant action because they are already synthesized and they are stored in the secretory vesicles so they can give their action instantly but you can see in case of uh, steroid hormones it takes minutes and several hours or even days so sometimes this is important for mcq like how much time does aldosterone take to exert its action and your answer will be 45 minutes now let us look at some of the difference between the peptide hormones and the steroid hormones peptide hormones and protein hormones are water soluble and steroid hormones are lipid soluble then uh, protein hormones don't need a carrier proteins in the plasma uh, but the steroid hormones are carried by the plasma proteins protein hormones are stored in vesicles uh, before they are secreted but steroid hormones are not stored in the vesicles receptor for protein hormones are located on the plasma membrane and receptor for steroid hormones are intracellular that is they are located in the cytoplasm mechanism of action of protein hormones is mainly by second messengers that is they activate the second messengers and a cascade of reaction follows but mechanism action of steroid hormones is mainly by gene activation and onset and duration of action in case of protein hormones usually fast the onset of action is very fast but it is a short acting process in case of steroid hormone the onset is slow but the response has a longer duration so uh, if you look at this diagram now again this is protein hormones and this is the our steroid hormones 
another importance another difference is that once the protein hormones are synthesized they are secreted by the process of exocytosis so protein hormones are uh, secreted into the blood by exocytosis whereas lipid hormones as they are lipid soluble they easily diffuse across the cell membrane and enter the blood in the blood protein hormones travel freely in the blood stream they don't need any carrier protein but steroid hormones are bound with the plasma proteins which act as carrier proteins and they carry the hormone in the blood another difference is the receptor for protein hormone is located on the cell surface and the receptor for steroid hormone is located in the cell cytoplasm so this is all for today uh, mechanism of action of steroid hormone is very important i hope you uh, see this lecture attentively and note down the points in your khata because uh, it is very important for your written and also viva so thank you this is all for today allah hafiz